metal bends under light. A piercing blue beam sweeps across a copper plate and the solid surface liquefies like molten glass. Uh, it is a moment of controlled chaos, a symphony of physics and precision. That beam belongs to Nuburu, a small company from Centennial, Colorado, that set out to redefine the limits of industrial laser technology. Its ambition was simple yet audacious, to use blue light energy to transform how the world welds, builds, and manufactures. But behind that vision lies a web of contradictions, rapid expansions, unexplained funding, and a pace that defies normal corporate logic. Nuburu's claim to fame is its high-power blue laser, operating at a wavelength of roughly 450 nanometers. Unlike traditional infrared lasers, which metals such as copper and aluminum largely reflect, the blue spectrum penetrates deeply, enabling efficient energy absorption. This translates into far fewer weld defects, minimal spatter, the molten metal droplets that cause imperfections, and stronger, cleaner joints. In theory, this is a game-changing leap for industries where precision is everything. Electric vehicle battery manufacturing, power electronics, and aerospace component assembly. Yet while the physics is impeccable, the balance sheet tells another story. In 2024, Nuburu generated a mere 150,000 USD in revenue, a staggering 90% drop from the previous year. Its net loss widened to 34.5 million USDs, with an earnings per share figure of negative 1.25 USD. For a company built on advanced engineering, these numbers are not merely disappointing, they are alarming. Typically, when faced with such financial distress, a firm would freeze non-essential R&D, stabilize its cash flow, and focus on securing short-term contracts. Nuburu did the opposite. It aimed higher, toward defense. On March 12, 2025, the company stunned observers by announcing the acquisition of a 20% stake in Defense and Security Hub, a defense technology integrator. Normally, defense entry requires years of compliance audits, national clearances, and classified certifications. Nuburu bypassed this entirely by buying into an existing contractor. The move was so swift that even seasoned analysts struggled to make sense of it. Such speed and confidence hinted either at extraordinary inside connections or at desperation, the kind of pivot a company makes when survival outweighs caution. This was the first great mystery. Then, in September 2025, Nuburu carried out a public stock offering of roughly 12 million USD. On paper, that might look like standard growth financing. In reality, it raised more questions than optimism. The company had no visible contracts, limited commercial adoption, and still faced heavy operational losses. Most firms raise capital 